There he is! Hey, Brian! Hey, Flim Gator, what's up, man? Oh, not much, man. It's nice to see you. What is up, the world? It is your friendly neighborhood Slip Gator here, hanging out today, doing stuff and things on the one and only Ark Survival Evolved Pooping Evolved server. Hope you guys are having a good day. I'm having a really good day. I don't know why that happened. Here we go. And today we are, but there's so many things happening. I gotta go back into this. There's so many stuff and things happening. This is gonna be a big day. Brian's coming home today. Brian and Sarah are coming home today. We got their house built. Can you see it from here? You can see a bit of it. You can kind of see the corner of their house from here. Oh, you can see up there some stuff and things are going on. So it's a big day. There's all sorts of stuff happening. I wanted to tell you guys, by the way, thank you guys so much for all your likes and support on all the videos, even the last one. And I'll thank you right now for the one to the next one. I don't even care. I don't even care. I just appreciate it. So thank you guys so much. If you like this video, please don't forget to smash that like button. If you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe. And we are well, there's so many things that are happening today. But the first thing that's happening is we're going to take a giant step forward in arc technology. Let me tell you what, ladies and gentle peeps, here we go. One, two canteens, everyone. I can't even believe it. We're going to carry canteens now and not just one canteens, which is odd because that's the plural. But two canteens is the pro is the plural of canteen canteen. Is it like deer? Um, so, you know what? For the people who are actually Googling that right now, shame on all of you. Okay, so yeah, let's go over here and we're going to get rid of our water bottles and we're going to get actual canteen, some hot canteen action up in this piece. So we will take these, actually the water skins, bye, bye, throwing them away. We'll put these water bottles in here, but we're going to put our canteens in as well. Bam, 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 bam. Because you know what? It's really hot where I live here. And I'm always running out of water. So it's the thing. We need to get a little bit of meat. We need some hot meat action. Let's go ahead and grab that. Let's go ahead and turn that into a 30 and squirt those back inside of there like that. It's fixing to be night. But so many stuff and things are happening. So we got the house built last night. I went up to... See? I already need water again. I went up to the Mountain Forge, which we repaired in the last episode. I brought Pugly up there, and I brought all the metal down, and then I brought Ingot back up again. So that was some stuff and things that happened off camera that you haven't seen. But, you know, one of the things that when we... When, when uh, Brian and Sarah went on their vacation, they left their saddles behind. So we're going to have to get some saddles for them. And I don't know... I don't have a Carno Saddle Blueprint. And I don't know the Carnal Saddle Engrams. I'm pretty sure I don't. No, I don't. And so if we take a look in here, we could learn it. It's 21 Engram points. But I want to take a trip over to Poop City. You know, it's been a minute since we've been over there. We haven't even seen, like, the new tower since me and Maz built it. It's turning night right now, so it'll be a really cool place to go and hang out and see. Oh, we can go and stop over here. Oh, look at Brian and Sarah's house in the moonlight. It looks so cool. I like their little house. It's quaint. You know, one of the things we might end up doing over here, too, just for added bit of security, is adding some plant species X turrets. And uh, also put a feeding trough out front, just so they have a little food, you know, for when they get back. Let's pop down here and check this out real quick and see what we got going on. Any bad guys in the area? I don't see any. There's some scorpions. I feel like we can risk it. Oh, what is it? Oh, it's a turtle one. Oh, crap. That was, I thought we were going to get a carnal blueprint for a second. All right, we jumped out of the water for some strange reason. I'm going to head over to Poop City right now, and we're going to see if we got any Carno Saddle Blueprints over there. And there it is, peeps. Boy, it's really lit up. <laughs> this thing's so bright, man. It's crazy. We got to get some lights over here at the, uh, at the, um, what even is this? There's the community building. I can't even remember the name of this damn thing. The pig. I think me and Maz ended up calling it the pig. Getting a little bit of lag as we come into Poop City. As we do, it's kind of an amazing build type place. So, this is best blueprints. This is structure blueprints. I think over here is saddle blueprints. All right, let's take a look. Fingers crossed. Oh, baby! We do have Carno saddle blueprints. 600 hide, 300 fiber, 63 metal ingots. We're going to have to bring this back home with us for nowsies just to get them made. It'll just be a lot easier than traveling back and forth. So, I'm going to bring them home, make up the saddles, and then bring the um, blueprint back here as well. And you know what else? we got to make sure we have... We need to make sure we have glasses for Brian. I don't even know if I saved his glasses when we moved. I think I did. I think I put them in a chest somewhere. So we'll have to take a look and make sure we've got his glasses too. All right. I'm going to uh, craft up these saddles. And uh, yeah, then we are... I don't know. I think we're going to head to Green Tower. 
Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. And we're back. All right, guys, we need 1400 hide. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. So we got 1400 hide there. We're gonna need basically near 800 fiber, which is in the same vault. So two, four, six, that should be enough right there, eight. And then we need how many metal ingots? 63, so 126. So let's go ahead and pull these guys out. 100. And you know the weird thing is it says I can build these, but it also says can be crafted at a smithy. Uh, That's really weird that it turns blue. Okay, a little bug. Let's head up to the smithy, which is what I thought. I was like, why is it turning blue? We can't build it here. Let's go ahead and squirt this in here. Squirt that in there. Actually, we'll just transfer all items, yes. And then we'll just grab uh, 50 of these, 30 bullets, and our meat back out. And then we should be able to go ahead and craft both of the saddles now. Oh, baby. I wonder how much XP we get for these. 0. 0.25. And... Oh, my gosh. 305, 320, 330 something. That's a good amount of XP as we're on our way to level 180 or 180, level 87. All right, there's our saddles. So we're good to go there. Do we have some dino glasses? I think we need to, to get some. Oh my gosh, do we not have any? Wait, I know I've got some dino glasses around here somewhere. And we're back. And they're here, guys. Brian just called. He said his flight landed, so they're ready to be downloaded. We're going to head over to Green Tower right here. We got Pugly with us. I think we're going to be able to carry them easier that way, get them to their house. And I think we're going to do these guys one at a time. So let's go ahead up to the tower here. And uh, let's go ahead and grab Sarah first. Whoa. Survivor profile. What's that? No, close. Transmit arc data. Download creature data. Sarah, the 141th level Carno. Download Dino. Is that it? There she is! Hey, Sarah! Hey, Flint Gator, how's it going? Oh, pretty good! How are you doing? Oh, you know, I'm pretty good. Get a saddle for you. Oh, thanks, man. I was kind of, you know, no clothes on and stuff. It's <laughs> kind of funny. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm really glad you're back. I'm really excited. Yeah, it was a very good honeymoon trip, but... Jeez Louise, I'm so glad that we're back, and... I'll tell you what, if you can get me over to, you said on the phone that you, you built a house for us, right? Yeah, yeah, I built a house for you guys. If you can get us over there, my soaps are on, my shows are on. Your show, your what? Your shows are on? Yeah, Grey's Anatomy. You you watch Grey's Anatomy? Yeah, I like Grey's Anatomy. It's all in a, it has it on TiVo. Oh, so we, I mean, you have it on TiVo, you can watch it anytime. Yeah, but I want to watch it now. Oh, okay then. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let me get Pugly, and uh, let's go ahead and one of these, one of these, and then let's get you going. Oh my gosh, man. This is like, whoa, what's going on? Oh, I'm, I'm going to carry you over to your house. You're carrying me on, on this thing. What is this giant bird? Uh, it is a, a Quetzal, a Cotalus. This is amazing. His butt is right in my mouth. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, it just hopefully doesn't poop in my mouth or anything. Yes, I, I, yep. I definitely hope he doesn't poop in your mouth either. All right, here we are. Careful with me. Careful. I will be, I will be. Go ahead and drop you off there. All right, hold on, Sarah. Let me come around. Let me show you your new place. Here it is. What do you think? It's really nice. This is nice. Let's have a look on the inside. Okay. Let's go inside here. Oh my gosh. Is that a California king size bed? Yes, it is a California king size bed. This is great. All right. I'm glad you like it. I'll tell you what. I'm going to go ahead and drop you off here. There you can watch your shows. You watch Grey's Anatomy. And um, I will go get Brian. All right. Thanks. Peace out. All right, then. Guess she wants to watch Grey's Anatomy. All right, guys, here we are. Oh, my gosh. Moment of truth. Let's go back up here. Moment of truth. My gosh, it should be pretty easy. All right. <laughs> Let's go up here. Download creature data. Here comes Brian, guys. There he is. Hey, Brian. Hey, Slim Gator. What's up, man? 
Oh, not much, man. It's nice to see you. It's nice to see you, too, man. Can you please put some clothes on? All my bits are out. Uh, okay, sorry. Yeah, let me get some clothes on here. I got the, can't really see anything, either. I got your glasses. Hold on right there. There you go, buddy. How's it going, man? It's going good, man. It's a long fly. I'm really tired. Yeah, yeah. The, the travel kind of is a pain sometimes. Yeah, me and the myth is a long flight, and I know she's watching her shows. I want to go ahead. And hopefully, that's over so I can play some Tetris. Yeah, man. All right. So, it's really nice to see you. I hope everybody's excited. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm reading through the comments of your videos while I was on Honeymoon, and I got to say, um, it's pretty much kind of spammy. I mean, I know people like hanging out with me and stuff, but there are so many comments. I feel really kind of famous i'll be honest with you well you are you are i mean you know people love you brian you're just you're a lovable guy you're kind of you're kind of lovable and huggable i like that now you say that i like that being huggable i like hugging yeah uh it's a little bit awkward well no it's fine kind of sort of pretty much good so anyway um why are you doing this to me? How am I flying in the air like this? What is happening? I'm free as a bird, though. You are free as a bird. You're on the a Quetzalcoatl list. They didn't have these around back in my day. They're back, in, I'm old school. Yeah, you are old school, man. You're totally old school. There's all sorts of other stuff that's happened too. Um, there's dino babies now. There's like little babies that hatch from eggs. Yeah, yeah. You know, me and the Mythids have been thinking about, ha you know, make, getting a family going. Maybe we should have a baby. Yeah, you guys should have a baby. Why would you? Yeah, we'll give a baby and then we'll name it Kevin. You'll, what? You'll name it Kevin? Yeah, we'll name the baby Kevin. That's a cool name. I, I, like, I actually like that name. I think that would be a great name for your baby if it's a dude baby. Well, you know, it's whatever. But, uh, yeah. All right, is this the house? Oh, well, this looks really nice. You did a good job on this house. Yeah, let me go ahead and get you down over here. There you go, buddy. Oh my god, Flip Gator. This is a pretty nice house. Yeah, man. I, th I think it did a good job. Let's go ahead and get you in here. Hey, Sarah. Hey, boy. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Flip Gator, is that the new 46 inch painted canvas LCD display for Tetris Xbox? And for watching Grey's Anatomy. Yeah, it is. That is awesome. I'm glad you like it, man. I got it. I mean, I think it's pretty cool. I like it, too. I wish I had one of those in my place. Yeah, your place is kind of crappy. Well, what, what do you mean, man? Like, it's nice. Yeah, it's kind of nice. We've done that 46 inch LCD painting canvas display for Xbox and Tetris and Grey's Anatomy. Yep, yeah, no. No, it doesn't have that. But, uh, but you do. So, all right. So, you guys are doing your thing. Did you see the um, Carnifornia king-size bed? Yeah, dude. I can't wait to sleep in there. It looks like a heavenly cloud of bed. It, oh, it, it is a... Yeah, it's a it's a heavenly cloud of bed. Well, well, all right, guys. Well, welcome back. I know you've had a long day. So, I'm just going to leave you two hanging out. And um, I'll catch up with you in a little bit. All right, Flip Gainer. See you later, man. All right, guys. See you later. Oh my gosh, guys. Well, we got them back. I hope you guys are happy. There's been a lot of comments for a long, long time. People wanting to get Brian and Sarah back together. And they're finally back from their honeymoon. Make sure you smash the thumbs up button if you're excited. And they said they're going to have a maybe have a baby or something like that. That is going to be unbelievable to see. A little Brian hanging out would be so cool. I can't wait to see what happens. And we're back. Spent the night over at my place. Figured this morning I'd come over and check on Brian and Sarah. See how those, those guys are doing. Oh, what's going on over here? Let me see. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I think that, uh, I think something private's happening. I think that maybe, don't look at us. Don't, we shouldn't be spying on them. They just, they're newlyweds. They just got home. We probably shouldn't. Shouldn't spy on them. Maybe we'll just uh, wait over here for a couple minutes. And yeah, the, when the house is a rocking, you know, you don't you don't come a knocking. So we're just gonna we're just gonna wait over here for a minute. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait and avert our eyes. Slip gator, slip gator, come here! Oh, I'm coming! I'm, I'm coming! What's going on? Slip gator, Sarah laid an egg. Sarah laid an egg. 
Where? Let me see. Where is it? Why is it? Where is it? It's over here by you. Yeah, but th but Sarah laid the egg. But it's an egg for our baby. Yeah, I laid an egg. It look kind of looks like Brian laid the egg. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. It's right over by Brian over here. No, I was over. I was over. <clears throat> I was over there and I laid it and I walked away from it a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, you guys, this is your first egg. You know, there's new dino breeding and stuff now, and it looks like it's too hot in the house here for it. So we're gonna have to bring it somewhere else to incubate it. Um, it's kind of not like human babies where they just ha where they just are born. You know, you got we gotta hatch yours. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, is that something you can take care of for us? Do you know a doctor? Well, I'm kind of an honorary dinosaur doctor. Um, I should be able to take it. You know what? I'll go ahead and pick it up. And uh, I'm going to bring it over. I have a little incubation station where um, I can bring it over. And um, I can bring you guys over there, too, so that you you can be there for the birth. Oh, yeah. That would be awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we would love to see the birth of our child. I'm excited for you guys. You guys are going to be parents. It's so cool. Yeah, it's kind of scary. I don't know. Do we have di- Honey, didn't you get diapers? Yes, I did, honey. I bought the diapers. Just kind of, We have formula and diapers. I got everything. Okay, all right. All right, don't- uh, Yeah, you guys, don't be- You don't have to be worried. It's gonna be fine. I'm gonna take care of you guys. So, you know what I'll do? I'm gonna go ahead over and, uh, I'm gonna just make sure we can incubate it, and, um, I'll bring you guys over so you can be there for the birth. All right, thanks, you flim i so nervous right now. I feel like I'm gonna poop in my pants. No, yeah, I don't. You don't have to put me pants. Also, you don't even have any pants. And we're back over by the incubation station. Let's get this thing kicked on. Our dino baby birthing area. Let's go ahead and drop this down right in this area. Incubating. There it goes. Man, this thing works really, really good. All right. So I'm guessing it's going to be good to go. When we did the Quetzal egg, we didn't have to babysit it at all. So I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to just shut the door for safety. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab Sarah and uh, Brian and bring them down here. And uh, when we're ready to hatch, I'll be our bees, peeps. Dr. Gator, is there baby born yet? Do what, Dr. Gator? Yeah, I would, I would... Look, I know you're not a real doctor, but I would feel better if I could call you a doctor because then it would just like, seem like you know what you're doing and I just feel like it would make me less nervous. Oh, okay, if you want to call me Dr. Gator, you can, you can, you can. So tell us an update on our baby. All right, so hold on. Let me give you, let me see what's going on with the Eggman. So, all right, it's been incubating. It's doing great. Everything's going really great with the birthing process. Okay, good. Because, like, we had gone to Lamaze, and we had been taking classes on birthing and stuff like that, reading books and everything. All right, well, no, that's, yeah, that's good. It's good that you're pre gonna be prepared parents. I mean, it's important that you're prepared. Um, some other things we do have to do because we're getting really close here. Blah, blah. We're gonna go have to go ahead and get some meat ready. It looks like I'm gonna have to get it re real soon. Um, it's gonna be born in, in a few minutes here. So I'm gonna get some meat ready and, and then we're gonna watch this thing hatch. I am so excited, Brian. Me too, I'm so excited, I think I'm gonna poop. All right, hold on, just, just don't poop. And it hatched the baby Cardo, level 98. There he is. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to imprint on you. I'm imprinting. That's it. He's a baby. We have Kevin the Cardo. Oh, look how cute he is. He's so little. Oh, we gotta feed him. We gotta feed him. Here, have some food, buddy. All right, we gotta make sure we feed him. We gotta keep him alive. Look how amazingly cute he is. All right, let's see if we can get him to follow us, or so we can get him out the door. Are you gonna follow me, buddy? Uh, wait, let's go like this. Yeah, he's following me. All right. You guys, your baby's born. Our baby is born, Brian. Yes, lovely Sarah, we have a baby boy. I think. Oh, wow, he's a jumper. Is it a boy? It is a girl. <laughs> it's a girl. Yeah, it's a girl. Can we still name him Kevin? Yeah, you can still name him Kevin. We got to get it out of here, though. I don't know what's going on. This, this seem to be a little bit stuck. Let's see if I can get it to come over here. Come over here, Kevin. Why are you stuck on the door? Please don't. Please come out. I'm so glad it's foggy. It's making great for this video. Let's see if we can get him to come out of here. Oh, here he comes. Look how cute he is. Come up here, Kevin. Baby Kevin. And let's come out. Come down here. See if we can get you right in between your parents. That would be really perfect. Oh, look at it. So amazing. Okay, okay. You're good. All right, so the- No, 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 don't wander. Stop, stop, stop. Why are you wandering? Disable wandering. No, you were in your perfect spot. Oh my gosh. And we're back! 
Oh, this is a perfect family photo. Look how amazingly cute and cute and amazing your baby is, guys. He's so precious. He's so amazing. What's his stats? Oh, you want to you want to know his stats? Let's take a look at his stats. So, 420 health, 900 stamina, 398, 343 melee damage, and 100% movement speed. Yes, honey, I think he gets the melee damage from you since you're a kung fu expert. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> Chip off the old block. Yeah, he is. He's so cute. He's so amazing. So it looks like... All right, we got some food on him. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to need to do here, okay? Dino baby growth is a little bit different, and I know you guys haven't done this yet. So, Sarah, since you're the kung fu expert, um, looks like it's going to be turning tonight, which is perfect. Uh, since you're the kung fu expert, actually, Brian, I think you're going to be in charge. No. Nope. You're going to be in charge of the baby. So the baby is going to follow you around. Okay, that sounds good. I'm in charge. Yeah, you're in charge of the baby following you. Now, Sarah, you're in charge of destroying anything's face that comes in the area, okay? So, let me see here. We're going to put your you to neutral, and then we'll put Brian to passive. There we go. Just like real life. Oh, you guys are kissing. We're so in love, and we have a baby now, and everything's perfect. It's so amazing. We have a family. Yeah, you guys have a little family. It's so cool, man. So, we got to wait until... um. We gotta wait a little while. We gotta make sure that he's got some food. Um, we don't want him until he's ten percent grown. Um, we can't we can't let him uh, go hungry. So we've got to make sure that he's got enough food. So let's go ahead and come up here. Let's come up near the feeding trough area. And I think that he should follow you, Kevin. You stay right there, buddy. There's little or uh, Brian. I said there's little baby Kevin. Look at him go. He's going up there. All right, Sarah. Now, you're going to be in charge of getting some meat for these guys, I think. You don't have any on you here, so um, we're going to take you out, get some meat. We're going to let little baby Kevin grow a little bit, and we'll be our bees, peeps. And we're back, and it's been a little while. Kevin the girl is growing up. It is a girl. I keep calling it a boy, but it is a girl. And it, for the you peeps that don't know the, the Kevin reference, you need to go watch some of the older videos, and then you'll get it. But anyway, so that's why it's Kevin. You, you would know if you're an old school peep. The new school peeps, just let me let you know. There's a reason for it. But anyway, Kevin's back. He's a juvenile now. He's eating from the trough. He's all grown up. It's quite amazing. Sarah's been an uh, unbelievable gathering up all the meats, getting all the stuff and things ready. Brian's been watching over Kevin. Everything's going really great. Yes, yeah, Slipgator, this is pretty great being a parent. I mean, so far, it's not as bad as people think. Yeah, what? I mean, it's pretty good. Yeah, and just kind of sit here. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not a human baby. You know, it's a, it's a carno baby. Yeah, with human babies, they're like a pain in the butt. They like cry and poop inside a diaper and you have to clean them up. So he just poops on the ground. Yeah, it's pretty great, man. So, I'm really glad you're back. I'm so excited for you. You started your family... It's unbelievable. It's so crazy. You know, I'm wondering what his first words will be. Oh, I wonder what his first words will be, too. I'm not sure. Oh, thanks so much, Sominex. Uh, I have no idea. But I got to tell you what. That's going to be it for today, ladies and gentlemen, peeps. It's been an action-packed episode. I'm going to stick around. I'm going to make sure that baby Kevin doesn't... Uh, doesn't uh, have any problems or anything like that. We'll make sure that she grows up big and strong. And, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had fun today. If you guys liked the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. Feel free to share and favorite it as you see fit. Oh, my gosh. I think that she's going to speak her first words. May the stuff and things be with you. Oh, baby!